you guys welcome back to the episode of Joy Fishing. So today we are here at Bedok Jetty. So we are here earlier at about 4 o'clock. Yeah, so we've been doing tamban. There's been quite a lot of tamban going on. Uh. I think maybe now last like. Yeah, so we've been trying to keep a few alive to use as bait. So the aim for today is to do a catch and cook. Uh. So to catch something that we can eat. Something big that we can eat. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully two to three kilo. Hopefully, <laughs> a fish la. Yeah, la. yeah so okay. uh, when it comes to night we'll start sending out uh, some kelong sotong. We'll try to scoop sotong if hopefully if there is la. Yep, so anyway we'll get fishing, update you guys again later. Okay, everyone, so okay, I think we will not. Yeah I think But the regulars here, there's an auntie, uh, Mrs. Yo, who is selling uh, tamban jig on. So, yeah, I can consider getting from her. So, yeah, uh, it's very easy to do one here. We just have a great small circle. And you don't need to cast over here, you just swing outwards. Let's sing for a bit. And just, okay. then when you feel the bite, you just feel Tamban master. Tamban. Oh, is it a bag of nonsense? We'll fight one, uh. Bag of nonsense. Or oh, you. Big, big more. <laughs> big, big more the whole week throw away. Dude. No lie, it's a very tired 80 kilo parry. Dark clouds, bro. Very dark clouds. Wow, who's that? Leo. Oh, he is a parry. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh. Uh. 
about 80 kilo ah. <laughs> okay, so it's a baby mangrove we pray. Yeah. It's a female. This is the rig we are using today. Um, so, double Apollo with yeah. uh, double Apollo hook, size one hook, size four sinker, and then uh, just a piece of tamban. Yeah. Just cut, cut, cut tamban, the tamban. Cut tamban meat. Yeah. yeah. So very simple. I just cut out. Cut out lightly also can. Touch the boat, I think they cast. Maybe can can touch shore, I think. Someone's barbecue pit now got one sinker and two tamban pieces. Alright, so we'll get fishing. Hopefully, we catch something and we'll update you guys again later. Alright, guys, so now it's at night. And we're gonna change bait from uh, tamban to kenal sotong. Yeah, or fresh sotong. We get fresh sotong. Yep, so daytime honestly wasn't that eventful. There was one small stingray, and yeah, that's about it. Lah. Yep, so we'll change our bait and update you guys again later. Okay, so we just set up the orange light for squid. And we have our long pole. Yeah. Trying to scoop some squid. We have our pickup over there. So the pickup is to attract more squid. Yeah, so. Very slow night. I think the water is a bit dirty. So, yeah, windy also. Yeah. So the squid, not that active. But, yeah, we'll continue trying. Yeah. So, yeah. So, update, we got some fresh squid, it's about uh, 3 to 4 inch long, 2 of them, and yeah, we also have some tamban, we have, a, we have quite a few tamban, now, so this is probably what we are going to send out for night time, yeah, so this is our night bait, hopefully the fresh squid gets some sniper or some other fish, now, so we just start and uh, we will update you guys again. A small pari or ling jam. Ah. What is that? Eh, ang chow. Hey, that's nice. Eh. Hey, good morning. So this is the. Apple bear. Okay, so here's the small. Oh, I'm swimming with Oh, okay. And there you go. Yeah, there you go. Bye bye. Yeah, I thought it's undersized. It's Ruby. Huh? So fast. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> okay, just. Our friend just caught a tabak on the scoop net. Yeah, not bad size. Nice size tabak.
Alright, so just scooped a huge squid and it spat out a tamban. Yeah, so we took a bite of a small tamban. You can see the squid mark. Yep, so we're gonna send this out as bait. Hopefully, we get something. Kuda 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 Eh hey, don't 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 oh, no. I scoop I scoop Keep it away from the pillar Yeah Handle, right? Yeah. So I could, uh... hey, we put the net. Huh? We put a bit on the net. Can you use it here? Okay, just caught a barracuda. The short, the fight was quite short, I think it's semi. It was very, very fast. Yeah, it was fast. Then uh, we scooped it up in the net. But 3.3 3 kilos. kilos. Yeah, we measured it 3.3 kilos. Oh, the teeth. Yeah, so Ooh. very careful when handling it, uh, very sharp. Yeah. We've been hunting barracuda for quite a while. Yeah. Uh. We've been dropping like big baits below the jetty and stuff, but this time we just got it on the surface. Yeah, also, also. Okay, uh, take photo. I guess so that was the footage from a separate session and uh, I think that session was during uh, barracuda season or maybe a school of them just like went past lah. yeah because there were multiple takes and the signature of the teeth mark on the our wire was uh, quite obvious lah. yep and uh, Singapore if you are talking about barracuda generally is quite safe to eat yeah but uh, we are aware that overseas a lot of people are quite cautious lah because of uh, Ciguatera poisoning because this tends to accumulate inside the barracuda flesh yeah because when they eat uh, fish that live near uh, coral reefs yeah so they store this toxin in their body yep so especially the larger size barracudas uh, do be careful and yep i think there's not much for today lah so we just uh, packed up and yeah lah there's not much action we did miss uh, quite a good fish but yeah lah that's too bad lah that's fishing lah Yep, so anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video, hope you guys learned something, and hope to see you guys in the next episode.